The race is officially on as 38 mushers and their dog teams have left Willow and are on the Iditarod Trail to Nome with three former champions, 16 rookies, and a number of mushers looking for their first Iditarod victory. Jesse Holmes finished top five each of the last two years, including a third place finish in 2022. You know, Dallas is back. Get to race against one of the best. You know, Pete, there's just a lot of great competition out there. That's my time to shine. It's my time to, you know, go out there and I'm, I'm racing to win. Or it could be Nick Petizier, the French-born musher who has six top ten finishes to his name, including runner-up in 2018. And you can't count out Matt Hall, a career best fourth place finish to Nome last year. This is our life, so so winning would be would be something that would be incredible. Um, and it's a dream. Yes, a wild dream. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fairbanks' Jeff Dieter continues to improve from 43rd in 2018 to 12th in 2021. I think every year, all of us um, kind of learn from years before. Um, so I'm, I'm looking to start the race um, on the conservative side just for my first two runs, kind of get the dogs warmed up. Um, but then I'm really looking to be competitive. I plan on um, trying to run my best race possible. Or will it be a woman to win the last great race for the first time since Susan Butcher in 1990? <laughs> Mila Porsid saw a fifth place finish last year, while Paige Drobny has finished as high as seventh place. Montana's Jesse Royer has an impressive Iditarod resume with four top fives, including third place finishes in 2019 and 2020. Oh, well, we've been working on it for 20 years, so it's, of course, it's everybody's goal. You know, we, we don't keep running this 20 years in a row to just see the trail. I mean, I love seeing the trail, but um, it, it is about being competitive. And while on the trail to Nome, you do want to pack lightly, but many mushers carrying something special with them along the way. Nome's Aaron Burmeister carrying the ashes of Howard Farley, one of the founders of the Iditarod. He was a dreamer. He was a, a get-her-done type of guy. He and his wife, Julie, were very involved. And so it's an honor for me to carry his ashes to Nome. Next stop. No. Well, there's many checkpoints in between, and Alaska's news source will have you covered throughout the 1,000-mile trail to Nome. Reporting from Willow, Jordan Rodenberger, Alaska's news source.